All right, hi, Scorpio. This is going to be your love message. This can apply for Scorpio placement, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Okay. Be sure to flip and switch the roles if you need to. Okay. So let's see what the Scorpio placement, sun, moon, rising, and Venus needs to know in love. We got express your love. It says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay, so somebody may want to um, communicate their feelings to you or you them. Again, choose which side of the story you're on, okay? So just flip and switch the roles. We got release your ex and finances and career. So some of you guys could be going through a breakup. Or somebody is. You could have met this person at work. Or... Yeah, some of you guys also are, are deciding to focus finances, may need financial um, challenges or issues, good or bad. Um, could be, you know, what needs to be the focus right now over love for some of you guys. Okay. It says pay attention to the red flags, the signs of cautioning you. Okay, so hopefully you guys aren't dealing with somebody that's trying to become emotionally or energetically um, codependent on you or something for your money. But let's see. We got romantic feelings. I don't like how that flew out. Let's see. We got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you guys could be of a different nationality, race ethnicity than your person there could be difference in religion somebody could be more religious the other person could be more spiritual okay or you know difference in like backgrounds of some sort or you guys could just be on a different path right now this came up for your an, an old love reading i did for you guys so some of you guys you may be on a spiritual journey or your person is or your love life is just all put on hold because you have other things to focus on. Finances, your spirituality, yourself, your you know, your journey, your purpose, and things like that. Um, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so somebody here needs to make up their mind soon. Because, you know, for some of you guys, you do have this coming in soon. There may be somebody that's not of the, they, you know, it could be somebody that's very different. Somebody could have called off an engagement. Okay. Yeah. Some of y'all are getting over a breakup, though. Yeah, you could have thought somebody was the one, but they're not, unfortunately. Um, for some of you, yeah, six of pentacles, six of cups. You may have kids with this person. Okay, um, you could have gave a lot of your time and your energy you could, to this person. You could have grown up with them. You could have met them through friends, you know, family, whatever, an old neighborhood. But let's see what's going on with express your love for Scorpio placements and love. Sunrise and Venus. We have King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. You could be dealing with the Taurus, or somebody may have this in your chart, okay? Or this could be any earth sign, Virgo and Capricorn as well. I feel like a lot of you guys could be um, entrepreneurs. You guys may run an enterprise or you want to, that's something that you guys could be looking into. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys, um, you're either this king of pentacles, male or female. Don't get caught up on the genders of the cards. It's just, it's just cards, right? My hair is a mess. I know y'all, I'm going to retwist it. Um... But, um, fuck me. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. You guys could be dealing with somebody that... You guys could have been really loyal to this person. You could have given a lot of your time. Again, money, energy. Okay? I feel like also somebody wants to commit to you. and I, Or you want to commit to someone. There's somebody here that's very loyal. Okay? Heavy Taurus energy. Or they could just be any earth sign. If they're not an earth sign, they can be a fire sign, water sign, or air sign. They can just be somebody that's very loyal, very stable, mentally, emotionally, financially, or at the very least, they like to be. This person is good with money, or they could be working on, you know, clearing out debt and, you know, shit like that, or this is you, right? Or they could just be somebody that's just good with money. Express your love, or they at least, you know, want to be or try to be. But this is somebody that's loyal, they're loving, they're very committed. They're not the most emotionally expressive, so that, that could be, you know, with this express your love. You know, this person may, they may be more practical. They may not be Mr. Romeo, but they're very stable, though, and committed. They're in it for the long haul. Express your love. Oh, 
Uh, this person could be a bit younger than you or vice versa. Or they could be just, they bring out the inner child in you. They could be a bit childish at times. They have this youthfulness to them. Okay, no matter what their age is or this is you. All right. Somebody here could be, you know, you could be used to this person being more flirty and, you know what I'm saying? They may say sexual things to you or flirty, you know, cute things, but they're about, somebody's about to express how they actually want to commit or this is you. Again, flip it and switch it, okay? I'm going to speak how I see it. If it's opposite, then just flip it, okay? I'm going to talk as if I'm talking to you. So even if this is not you behaving in this way or certain parts are you and certain parts are other people, Choose which, choose certain, you know, certain parts of the story will be you, certain parts of the story will be other people or other person, okay? So just, you know, do what you will, okay? What's this um, special life? Yeah, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, um, it's hard to get this person to open up. You know, they may be, it may be easy for them to give to you. They may like to also like have a lot of sex and like give you money, you know, attention, gifts, you know, communication, but expressing like emotional things like hey i love you hey um you know i want to build with you i want to be with you i want to marry you you know I, I like you i want you to be my girlfriend i want you to be my girlfriend or, i mean my boyfriend or my man or my woman that may be things that this person kind of gets a bit they get like a lump in their throat right they could be a taurus or they have taurus placements or this is you but we got the world card which is fixed sign energy okay taurus scorpio um taurus scorpio leo and Aquarius, so you can be done with any one of those signs or somebody that has them. But I also feel like um, somebody could be expressing this to you via social media. They could maybe they're gonna um, post you guys, or you guys could be going public with a relationship. That may be how this person wants to express how they, you know, how serious they are about you. Okay, right? Mm, I love it. Um. <laughs> Also, somebody here could be like a, somebody could, um, when I see this world card, not in all decks, but in this one, some, it gives me somebody may have like an OnlyFans or somebody could be like a model or, you know, something like that. Somebody does, somebody, somebody's in the public eye, they make really good money from this. So they could do something online. They could, you know, whatever it is they do online or this is you. If you guys work from home or whatever, you're going to be making good money from this. Okay. But. Um, somebody here is a really good kisser as well. Somebody's really good with their lips, with their mouth, you know, tongue game, everything. Um, express your love. We got the moon card here, which is um, Cancerian energy. Somebody, yeah, somebody could be a bit moody at times. This could be a Cancer. Somebody could be a bit moody. Okay, they could all they could also somebody could be hiding. This person may not know how to tell you something, but it's weighing it's weighing um heavy on them. Okay, somebody could also be moving. Somebody could be moving to a different location, different borough, different state, country. Okay. Somebody could be moving to be with you or vice versa. There could be this could be a long distance relationship for some of you. But something is changing. I feel like if this person, maybe if they were talking to other people or would, or keeping this a secret, I feel like they want to go public with something or you're going to find something out on social media. Okay, what's this moon card? But something could, somebody, there's some deception here or, yeah, two of wands. I feel like somebody's planning something. Somebody could be planning or strategizing on something here. Somebody has something up their sleeve. Somebody's saying, hmm, I don't know if it's good or bad. We'll see. Okay, what's this two of wands about? Yeah, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. So some of you guys have a, a choice between two people. This could be an Aquarius, Capricorn, or um, Taurus, or any Earth sign, Virgo, Ca yeah, Virgo, Capricorn, or Gemini and Libra. So you guys may have, or somebody has a male or female. Somebody has a choice between two. And if, or, and if this is not, and if it's not any of those signs, this can just be people that embody that. So somebody could be a fire sign and embody, embody the king of, king of queen of swords energy, very intellectual, very um, matter of fact, very like cut, you know, straight to the chase. No, you know, 
You know what I'm saying? And somebody could embody that King of Pentacles energy. They're very focused on their finances. They're stable. They're loyal. You know, they bring, you know, they're going to bring you that check. You know what I'm saying? That they're going to make sure all the bills are paid. So, you know, you some some of y'all may have um, a choice between two or this is your, or this is somebody else that has to choose between you and somebody else. Okay, but we'll see. What's this King of Pentacles? Yeah, three. Ooh, three of swords. So, yeah. What's this King of Pentacles? I feel like that could be the secret. Somebody has a choice to make here. Somebody could also be bisexual as well. You could have questioned somebody's sexuality or vice versa. Yeah, nine of cups. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like somebody's not happy with something here. Yeah, ace of cups. I feel like somebody here... Yeah, ten of somebody's not. Ooh, the death card could be doing another Scorpio. Or something could be ending here. Somebody could have did something impulsively. We got Queen of Pentacles, so you could have been committed to this person. You guys could have been married. Okay, um, there could be a pregnancy that's out that could have happened on a break or outside of the home or outside the marriage. Or somebody could be starting a new relationship. So they, yeah. Okay, what's this Nine of Cups? I feel like a lot of you guys also may not be in the best space right now. You guys could be, yeah, Gemini energy here with this lovers. Oh, so somebody could have been over. Okay, so somebody got caught up. Yeah, somebody could have moved away from you because you could have caught somebody in a lie here. It could have been something small, but you, if you know this person well, you know they was onto some bullshit. Okay, the lovers is Gemini energy. Somebody could have been overindulging in other people, sex, orgies even. Like a lot. A lot. Somebody here cheats a lot. Okay, somebody, you know, also somebody could be this this king of pentacles. This, this is somebody that could be really selfish. They don't have to be an earth sign. They, they, don't, they could be male or female. Somebody here is very selfish. Somebody's very selfish. Very self-indulgent, very materialistic. Oh, that's somebody's phone. I thought it was mine. Um, somebody's very materialistic, full of themselves, very selfish, very arrogant, and somebody overindulges in sex and things like that. Yeah, and that could be what the secret is. But I feel like somebody here is, you know, somebody's not stupid. Somebody knows something is up or somebody knows the truth about something or somebody. I feel like for some of you guys, if you were once committed to this person, you guys know like something is off. And I feel like a lot of you guys are tired of the deception, the secrets, the confusion, the mooniness from this person, the ups and downs. It's, it's like an emotional roller coaster. This person, you you guys are kind of at your, you guys are basically at your breaking point. And I feel like with the world here in the Ten of Wands, this cycle is closing. This cycle is over. It's done. You guys are making a decision to cut this person out. You guys are over it. What's the world here? I don't really need to clarify that, but... Well, let me see something. Yeah, the world card. Uh, this could be a Capricorn devil here. Yeah, you guys, yeah, something was toxic. Some of you guys are also could have a contract, too. This could be, like, again, working from home. This could be... Um, you know, you got, there's a cycle that needs, there's some things, there's a karmic cycle that's been completed for a lot of you guys. And yeah, you guys, yeah, there's a, uh, yeah. And some of you guys may be a bit stuck on this mentally. You guys may have a hard time transitioning out of this cycle. It's over. You guys ended it, but you guys may be a little bit stuck. So you guys may be needing some type of assistance, whether this is help from like somebody professionally or you know, you guys may still, you guys, there's some healing that needs to be had here because you guys may have a hard time letting something or somebody go, okay? And you guys could be in, you know, you guys may not be in the best space emotionally. Yeah, you guys may be having a hard time transitioning with this move or letting this person or this situation go. A lot of majors here. The lovers, the world, the devil, and the moon. What's this devil energy? Somebody could have also, somebody could have traveled across seas to get some spell work done. To bring, to get somebody to, somebody made a, somebody could have made a bad decision. And I feel like with this world card, they may not, it may take them a bit of time to realize this. 
or it took them some time to realize this. Somebody could have went overseas or contacted some family, whatever, overseas. Because this devil, look at the candles and shit like that. And it's giving spell work. And, and even with this world card, you see the cups, the swords, all those tools. You know, it's some and the ten of wands. Yeah, let's see what this devil is. If the magician comes out. Oh, it's the sun. Woo child. Leo energy. Yeah, I feel like you guys could, there could be some type of, you guys could be going through like an ego death here for some of you guys. Okay, the sun card. Something is being illuminated. You're realizing how toxic something or somebody is. So you guys, yeah, the sun and then the moon. So some of you guys are in the lovers. So this could be a twin flame connection for some of you, for some of you guys. This can be a twin flame connection for some of you guys. But you guys are also, something that was hidden could be you guys may be seeing something online something could be something could about to be revealed online or you guys are about to see how toxic someone is this devil got titties mm. capricorn energy with the devil what's the ten of wands which is fine but um yeah the knight of wands yeah somebody yeah somebody could have been in a very lustful energy and now they're way down yeah somebody is empty yeah somebody could have so this is you know get tested i want to say guys just you know especially when you get out of long-term relationships or you find out somebody's been cheating or you suspect somebody's keeping secrets always get tested because you just never know if you're questioning somebody whether it's their sexuality what they what they do when they say they go into the store or you know what i'm saying who that friend of theirs they always talking about or they always whatever who's always in their dms or messages or call log or you just suspect something or something seems funny or fishy literally or figuratively just go get tested you should always even if you're fine you should always that should be like a that should be an actual that should be a thing that you want to do for yourself i feel like somebody's ego i feel like somebody let their ego get in the way here and the cycle is closed now Somebody was too blinded to see something because they were too stuck in their ego, too stuck in their ways. They didn't want to make changes, sacrifices. Okay, they didn't want to grow up. They went, they didn't want to surrender their ego or let go of something or habits or a lifestyle, okay, or a way of doing things. Yeah, this, yeah, Ace of Wands here. This could have definitely, somebody could be doing like chaos, somebody could be doing chaos matches to keep somebody confused or somebody could be gaslighting someone a lot. Okay, also somebody here is just, it's an empty victory for somebody here. Something was an empty victory. What's this Knight of Wands? Somebody could have called off, and called off something or a Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody... Mm. Yeah, the hair of Taurus energy. Yeah, I feel like somebody went against their morals, their values. Somebody lacks morals and values here, whether it's them doing spell work to keep somebody bound to them, like a loser, an idiot, or weirdo, or this is somebody that was a cheater, or, you know, that could have stepped out on their commitments. Somebody's also avoiding commitments. Somebody could have picked, somebody just doesn't, somebody doesn't know how to commit. They don't want to. Okay, somebody's also always in and out of jail. That could be a burden too. Yeah, it's like somebody just doesn't want to grow up as well. A lot of majors here. Somebody doesn't want to grow up. And I feel like, you know, the cycle is closed now. It's like spirit is like, well, you don't want to listen. So it's like somebody... You know, somebody's ego and external self, somebody doesn't have a good connection with their higher and lower selves. It's just not, there's a disconnect. Somebody's spiritually disconnected. All they do is run around, have sex. All they care about is money, material things. They lie, they deceive, they cheat, they con, they steal, they're a thief. It's like somebody has no type of spiritual awareness or connection. They refuse to, then they refuse to. They refuse to. So let's just pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. So in this card upright, is somebody that's pregnant, you know, or there's just something. Of a, yeah, oh, okay. So, okay, the Empress. So somebody here could struggle with fertility issues here, okay? This is like, yeah, infertility. You know, Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Yeah, somebody may be needing to heal. Somebody could be like distancing themselves or move, yeah. 
something is not yeah there may be a lack of growth in something here okay so well, I just got it. Some of you guys could be, if you're pregnant, you could have a lot of anxiety about this pregnancy, especially if you lost or had miscarriages or struggled with infertility in the past, or you could have struggled to get pregnant. Some of you guys uh, may be feeling really anxious about this pregnancy here. For my ladies and for my men, some of you guys may not know, you know, that you could feel the same way about your partner if they struggle with fertility, or you may not know if this person stepped out on you, because we got we do got two kings here. So you know what I'm saying? So somebody may be needing to figure out who's the father of who. Okay, so that's for somebody. Um, for others of you, pay attention to the red flags, you know, being mindful of and I was just telling Sagittarius this. You could be dealing with a Sag, or maybe you have a Sag placement somewhere in your your moon, your rising, or your Venus, or you're a Sag with Scorpio placements, Venus moon or rising but be mindful of who you're you know when somebody shows you where signs know when to pull out you, you get what i'm saying literally and figure when it comes to love sex all of that know when to pull out somebody here may not you know some of you guys just over invest into people and things that don't that you get nothing back on and that's what this whole cycle, that's what this whole lesson, that's what all these years and all this time, this relationship, these lessons, that, that, that's what this was about for a lot of you guys. You guys um, have a tendency to, you guys have a tendency to continue to invest in things that you're getting nothing back in return from. And it's not even just love. This could be jobs, friendships, everything. You overgive and get nothing back. And then you're depleted, you're emotionally bankrupt, and you're sitting there bitter and you know you become like you you know then you become toxic or you know what i'm saying you become what has been done to you or you become like the type of person that has you become who you become that person that's hurt you or this is somebody around you okay so Yeah, somebody could be pregnant. Somebody could definitely be pregnant. Let's just pay attention to the red flags. The Scorpio. Yeah, seven of cups here. It's like the same, yeah. Some of you guys also need to be patient. I feel like you guys could be rushing something. Don't rush into anything. You know, be mindful of who you invest in your time into. Don't just rush into something here. High priestess, fertility. So again, I feel like if you guys were struggling to get pregnant in the past, whatever happens, just know that you can get pregnant. You will get pregnant, okay? Some, you know, some of you guys could have suffered. Somebody could have suffered a couple of miscarriages, Maybe even some, you know, abortions and things like that. But there's, you know, the, the high priestess talks about fertility here. Also, I want you guys to use your intuition here. Pisces energy. You guys are being called to listen to your intuition with something or someone. So that's why this pay attention to the red flags is here. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. Y'all know something is sus. I feel like y'all know something is up. You need to take heed on that before you end up in this sorry ass energy here unnecessarily. Pay attention to the red flags or maybe you have a Scorpio sun moon rising. Yeah, I feel like somebody here is just, some of y'all are pregnant or you will be at some point, okay? Yeah, three of swords. I feel like somebody could have gotten somebody else pregnant or somebody does. I don't know. You you know what I'm saying? Like, this is like, I don't, it's like, this came out in Taurus's reading a while back. This high priestess and this. Um, but Scorpio, you know, listen to your intuition, your instincts. You guys know something. You see something. You feel something. You guys are very intuitive. You're a water sign. You guys are very intuitive on a primal level. You guys are super intuitive on a primal level. Okay? So you're needing to listen to your intuition on something. This is something major for a lot of y'all. I don't know if it's about a pregnancy or I don't know if it's about a person or whatever, but listen to your intuition. 
okay? So there definitely could have been cheating and shit like that for some of y'all. What's this? Pay attention. So I think something about kids, the nine of swords. Some of you guys are getting dreams and stuff in your sleep. You guys are dreaming about this, okay? Some, you know, somebody here could be having a lot of anxiety. Again, some of you guys could be having anxiety about this pregnancy here. You, you know, you guys really want a family. Somebody could be also losing a home. Or somebody could have moved out of a home here. Somebody could have left the marriage or something like that. I feel like somebody's looking at somebody. So somebody's looking at this pregnancy or this baby that somebody just had. Maybe, even if even if this person just had this baby, somebody's looking at this suspect. Somebody's not too sure about this or too certain. Either they don't really want this or they're not too certain about the person that is pregnant or who they got pregnant. But something is weird. What's this three of swords here? Some of you guys are tarot readers or you could have gotten a task. Yeah, Ace of Cups is about, yeah, so this could be, yeah, this somebody here could be starting a new relation. Oh, so somebody could, somebody could, somebody may no longer want to invest in you or stop investing in you because they are, could be investing in something else. Somebody could want to invest in something else or somewhere else. And that could be why they don't put enough time and energy and, you know, communication, all of that into you. They could, they could be starting something with somebody else. And maybe you guys sense that. And for others of you, this is this heartache, this betrayal is forcing you guys to level up and to love and to really fall in love with yourselves. Especially for those of you who want kids, you got to love yourself first. A child is not going to fulfill any voids or any type of emptiness or unhappiness. If you're not happy right now, you're not going to be happy being a parent. You're not going to be able to pour into your kids. And if you do have kids, you're going to expect them to, you're going to expect them to kind of like, you're going to feel, it's going to, you're going to make them feel like they owe you something. If you do invest in gifts and you're going to make them feel like they owe you something because you don't have that, you don't have enough and you you don't have enough deposited into your own account. So how can you deposit into somebody else without expecting something back in return, whether it's about kids or relationships or whatever? So, you know what I'm saying? So, you guys need to really love on yourself. This is some self-love that needs to be had here. What's this Ace of Cups? And this is what this lesson is for you guys. A lot of you guys went against your own self, your own self-esteem, your own intuition, you know, just to say you have something. What's this Ace of Cups? What's this Ace of Cups? Oh, because you didn't want to be alone. But now you're forced to be alone. Now y'all may be forced to be alone with a child. So, you know, or somebody is, or somebody is finding out that a child isn't theirs and, you know, yeah, five of cups. So there's sorrow and loss here. Yeah. And this nine of cups, somebody could be, somebody could have gotten somebody else pregnant and somebody could be going back to somebody from their past that they have kids with. Okay. Or this, you did this or whatever, but it's not going to, you know, this is a, this is a very toxic it's very toxic. So, and this is, this could be a, you know, we got Libra energy here, Virgo, Gemini. It's very toxic. It's not going to last long. It's, it, yeah, somebody's going to be in deep regret and they're going to end up, it's going to be a huge tower. It could be done with Aries. It's going to be a huge tower again with these people and whatever. But, um, or oh, this is y'all too. But um, there's some sadness here. Some of you guys could be very heavily depressed and like to the point like you guys may need to hire a therapist you with this hair fine hair you guys may need to seek spiritual counsel your emotions can be all over the place your temper can be all over the place it's like you you're, it's a very highs and lows here with your emotions here some of you guys somebody here is extremely depressed and extremely sad about something extremely like to the point like somebody could have a hard time getting out of bed when it's time for them to go to work they're struggling to do so what's the seven of pentacles here the scorpio sun moon rising yeah seven of swords fuck man it's a lot of deception here it's a ton of deception here i'll be right back guys let me get over it's a yeah it's something around a child or a pregnancy
Yeah, you know when Nova wakes up, um, during the readings, that'd be confirmation. It's definitely somebody here is pregnant or got somebody pregnant or something involving a child here for somebody. It's some some type of deception. Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles is definitely <gasps> somebody pooped. Oh yes. All right, Scorpio. I'm gonna finish this really quick <laughs> um, because I'm gonna finish. Somebody, sevens are warnings. Sevens are sevens are warnings here. Sevens are warnings, and y'all know something is up. Y'all, y'all are y'all y'all don't something is not sitting right with you guys. Whether it's about this pregnancy or this person or situation, something or something wasn't sitting right, and you guys ignored it, and now you got somebody here is in regret here. Somebody could regret leaving you and starting something new, or they will. What's the Seven of Swords about and this Seven of Pentacles? Oh, Lord. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Somebody here is very... Yeah, this could be about somebody's baby mother, or somebody here is being very emotionally manipulative and sneaky. Somebody's being very... Somebody's being real sneaky and deceptive. I feel like a lot of, for a lot of you guys, this is you deceived yourself. You guys deceived yourself here. What's this Nine of Swords about? For a lot of you guys, it's self-deception. You guys chose, you guys didn't, you guys wanted to be blind. You guys didn't want to, you guys just don't want to see the truth here. Okay? But that could be somebody's baby mother or somebody's mom. Yeah, yeah somebody's going to go looking for something and they're going to go find what they're looking for. Or this is something in your dreams. You guys are, you guys are seeing, you guys are getting downloads in your dreams. Yeah, something about a child here. Yeah. Yep. Somebody, yeah, somebody could, when somebody went backwards. And somebody's trying to figure out how they can give to do two different homes, two different places here. Somebody's trying to strategize something. So, yeah, somebody's going to go look for something, spying. Somebody could have spied on somebody or just found out something that could have really got them stressed out. Or somebody is trying to look, for, you know, it's like somebody, somebody could also be overthinking every little detail here about whatever this is. Somebody here needs to get out of their head. I'll make this quick because the thing is, if I stop the video and then it sometimes it doesn't let me conjoin them together with that. Anyways, I'm not going to clarify the high priestess because y'all know what the fuck is up. Religious factors, like something ain't y'all. I mean, y'all want to hold on to this person like for dear life. Yeah, the emperor of Aries energy. Yeah, somebody here, this could be your this could be your twin flame counterpart, but somebody you may not be, that doesn't mean you're meant to be with this person in this lifetime. And this, you know what I'm saying? Like that doesn't mean you're meant to romantically be with them. Maybe work with them, co-parent with them, but that doesn't mean you're meant to be with them. Religious factors. Or this is somebody that's very controlling. Somebody here or somebody also abuses religion and tradition like as a way to oh why we should stay together, why you should go back to your family or go back to your baby mother or your baby father, or why you should do this like this. Somebody may have a parent here who's very controlling, okay, a dictator in some sense, whether it's passively or aggressively, and somebody here is very controlling. Somebody uses and somebody could Somebody could also use some type of spiritual warfare or some shit like that. There's a lot of that going on these days, child. All right, I'm going to have to cut this. Uh, what's this religious factors for Scorpio? Hold on, mama. I'm just going to do this and cut it. What's this religious factors? Yeah, king of wands. All these three different kings here. Yeah. So, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, heavy Leo here. Heavy Leo, heavy Taurus. Mm, but anyways, cancer, cancer's here, Gemini's here. I'll be right back, guys. Um, I'll be back. But yeah, somebody's uh, somebody's real cocky too. Somebody's real fucking arrogant. I'll be back. <laughs> 